السلام علیکم دس از انسپائرنگ سید مسروف آئی ول ٹاک اباؤٹ دا کے پی آئیز کی پرفارمنس انڈیکیٹرس کے پی آئیز آر این امپارٹنٹ پارٹ آف دی پرفارمنس پلاننگ فار ایوری انڈیویجول فار ایوری آرگنائزیشن ایٹ دی اسٹارٹ آف این اینول آر کیلنڈر ایئر دی کمپنیز دے آر گوئنگ ٹو سیٹ کے پی آئیز key performance indicators for the overall performance of the organization in the next uh, 10, 10 to 12 months and same goes true for the employees all those kpis at the organization level those are being narrowed down to the employees and then uh, in each function in each department each employee is assigned allocated certain kpis and then the performance is measured against those set kpis it is how the performance of the organization the performance of the people is being quantified and measured nowadays a new interpretation or translation of kpis have come into place earlier traditionally uh, the kpis were the growth uh, results uh, performance uh, overall customer satisfaction so this kind of kpis uh, used to be set for the organization and for the employees but now the kpis have been given a different name and the key performance indicators are for the people how it goes key performance indicator for the people can be named uh, in a different way one keep the people informed number 2 keep the people involved number 3 keep the people interested number 4 keep the people inspired i will briefly explain all these uh, four different interpretations of the kpi for the people how you can keep the people informed communication is the key it is the power it is the hub of everything that you do in the organization so you have to keep your people informed about the company vision goals milestones future plans so that people are never taken aback whenever there is a discussion an argument or a talk about the company's vision goals uh, its growth targets its plans its different projects so you have to have Uh, an open communication with the people so that they are well aware about the different uh, strategic sides aspects of the organization of the company number 2 keep the people involved how you can keep the people involved you have to engage them into different projects and plans you have to get their ideas their feedback their opinions so that they could be part of each and every project and plan of the organization when they are there they will own it and the implementation will be easier the results will be optimum how to keep the people interested when you will motivate them for their work when you will keep them engaged when you will involve them into different projects into different plans when you will give them the cross functional responsibilities when you will bring the people into every small and bigger planning aspects of the company so they will be interested you have to arouse their interest inspire their interest it is how the people will be interested and they will be doing their best they will be displaying their best performance and they will achieve the set goals and milestones of the organizations number 4 keep the people inspired how you can inspire the people you appreciate them for every good act they do you appreciate them for their performance you reward them for the good work you talk to them discuss with them give them the opportunities so that they could they could grow uh, give them the learning opportunities so that they could be motivated and they could be inspired so it is how the if the people they are inspired 
the sense of higher inspiration is there amongst the people they will be involved engaged interested and inspired their performance will be getting better with each passing day and they will be able to produce the optimum results that you are expecting from your people so this is an interpretation of these new four uh, set of kpis are are uh, the the goals are the milestones if you are going to implement them properly and you are able to create a synergy of the traditional kpis and these newly emerging kpis i am confident that you will achieve better results from the people and the organization will grow vertically and horizontally and the people will also grow vertically and horizontally the growth of the people the growth of the company it will go side by side if the people are happy if they are involved engaged inspired motivated and they are well informed they will uh, produce better results and if they produce better results the customers and the clients are happy the organization will automatically grow so uh, the hr managers uh, business managers the boards and the higher management they should be cognizant of this new reality of the management i will strongly recommend all the managers to stay connected with your people learn more about your role your responsibilities stay connected with different uh, social media platforms like linkedin it's a social platform and learn from different people in the same arena where you are working and you will see that your learning curve will uh, go grow and go up and at the same time your people will also learn from you the organization will at the end of the day benefit and the people will also benefit i hope this video will benefit you if you have any feedback or if you want to ask more questions please let me know and i will get back to you take care of yourself till next video allah hafiz